how to add a bucket to the iView system on iDigBest. F4 here, you can see that machine number one and bucket number three. So if we're going to add a bucket, we don't want to add on number three, we want to do a different one. So you hit the F4, start flashing, and then the screen it tells you it's for the mini excavator, 24 inch tooth bucket, that's bucket number three, 24 inch tooth bucket. So we can go up here to right or left arrows on the mouse, uh, buckets and the up and down are for the machine. So we're going to just right arrow here. Bucket number four is 36 inch smooth. Bucket number five, I'm right arrowing over, is spoken for 18 inch. Bucket number six, no bucket there. It's a good place to go. Put a bucket. Unless you want to cover up an old bucket. So we hit the menu button, takes us into the buckets. Bucket number six, you want to change that, you just hit enter, you get the cursor, up or down, you can change it. Done, hit enter, it's locked in bucket number six. Tools. You got the uh, you can go down here and you can change which tools you want um, up and down on your on your mouse drills blades there's all kinds of stuff reverse bucket you want your regular bucket cursor's off when you hit enter to name the bucket um, just hit enter right here it's gonna take you in and you can name your bucket very simple move left right space bar put in your name of your bucket when you're done hit home home will take you back and the name of the bucket will be right there I'm not adding a bucket right now so so once you do that, um, these are dynamics down here for, for machine control, something you don't need to mess with. Right arrow again, it'll tell you you're going to do dog bone or you're going to do regular bucket. Mine's on the coupler, so regular bucket. Are you a twist bucket or twist bucket or a straight bucket? Uh, only in and out. And calibration, which way is the sensor facing? Anyone facing left, like you can see that one there, facing left. Uh, towards the cab, that would be an L. Facing right would be to the would be an R. Length of bucket. You want to put the length in from the center of the rotating pin. So if you've got a coupler, whatever pin rotates, center that pin down to the teeth. So that they're the cutting edge. So it's three foot. Um, one was the last bucket we put in, but that changed that length. So you just go down to it with your mouse, highlight it. You get the cursor. When you get done, hit enter. So the next thing you go down to is angle negative 90 you'll put your bucket vertically so that the the from the center of the pin that rotates if you drop a plumb bob down it'll be the end of your cutting edge into your teeth once you get that bucket in a position you hit enter one time you get the cursor flashing right there i don't want to do it right now because i don't want to change this bucket and then you hit again and it'll beep and say okay at the bottom so the next thing you want to do is put in the width of the bucket so if it's a uh, this one we've got a three foot bucket in here it's it's an old bucket um, and then you want to do flat bucket flat bucketing is for um, machine control or it'll tell you where your bucket's perfectly flat to the ground where you dig perfectly flat so you want to lay your bucket down flat as you can what you think is the best of that and you just hit enter and it'll flash in what that angle is so you're done with that if you want to put x-ray vision in it's right there to get the page, this is the x-ray vision page, which is another video to profile your bucket for x-ray vision. Right there over again. It's not going any farther. So you just hit the home button because you're done. So you're going to go home. It says, do you want to save the bucket? Yes, of course we want to save it. We hit enter. If we don't want to save it because I don't have a bucket in there, I hit no and hit enter. And it'll save it. I go back to the page. Now you're, you're still flashing here because you're in bucket mode. If this is the bucket you want to use right now, let's say that it's not since I didn't put that bucket in. I'm going to go back to my 24 inch bucket with teeth like that and then you just hit enter to get out of that mode. Anytime it's flashing, hit it. You're in that mode. It gives you the information. When you're done, you hit enter. It's how simple it is to put buckets on. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is adding dog bones. Uh, when you go back to the main menu where it says dog bone, you can enter on your mouse and click to it. That'll take you to our page. These are segments. Segment 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the four points of your dog bone. You can see one there goes from the piston to the crowd or the dipper stick. Two goes from the dipper stick to the bucket main pin. Three is main bucket pin to back bucket pin. Four is back bucket pin to piston. Enter in those links from center of pin to center of pin exactly. So one foot, two inches, and then how many hundredths of an inch? Best guess is fine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to 
put in our segments angles. This is segment one, just like it was before. And we're going to level segment one. Same thing as so segment one there. That's the, the from the piston to the dipper stick. And then we're going to also vertically level segment two, which is from the, the dipper stick, dipper stick. So this is segment one here. You get your level on it, get it perfectly level like that. Pin to pin. You go back to your page and you see right there where it says zero, zero, because that's level zero. And you hit enter, you see the cursor, you hit enter again, and it'll say okay. So we're going to go to segment number two, which is vertical. Notice it says zero, zero, but we're going to get, and we're going to level the dipper stick pin to pin. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to enter in negative 90. So we're going to click the cursor over three spots like that and just start pushing the down arrow, which is going to go 10 at a time. Until we get to negative 90. Once we hit negative 90, just the same. We got the thing perfect. Boom, it says OK and beeps.